So you want to make a cappuccino, but you don't have a professional coffee maker. How do you froth the milk? I've got three ways. Firstly, a handheld blender with a whisk attachment, or otherwise you can use one of those little uh, milk frothers, the electric ones. So 250 mils of milk that we've heated up here, just before boiling point, you don't want it boiling. And we're just gonna whisk that up for about 30 seconds. Basically, you want it to double in volume. Might take a little less, might take a little more. Okay, not bad. It was 250 mils and now we've got 400 mils. So a nice bit of froth. Pour that into our cappuccino. Yeah, not too bad. Next, I'm going to use a handheld plunger. It's just a French press or coffee plunger. It's not the, the milk frother attachment that you get um, because I think that this just works as well, if not better. So once again, 250 mils of milk that I heated up in the microwave, just below boiling point, on, and then we just froth. Basically, you're aerating. Uh, same with, with the whisk, but just different because you're pushing it through basically a sieve. A bit of arm strength. <laughs> There's a lot of me doing very attractive things on the show. <sighs> okay. Right. So what we're looking for is a basically double in volume. You can see there, just tap that down, let it settle a bit. And then using a spoon, just going to ease that into our coffee. This is a much creamier foam, actually. It actually looks bloody delicious, if I don't say so myself. Last, we've got a simple glass jar and a lid. We're going to pour the hot milk in. Again, a cup full, 250 mils. Virtually a boiling point. Lid on. If it's not a tight screw lid, use a cloth because it might splatter. And shake. So attractive right now. <laughs> right. Let that settle. Take the lid off. So that was about 40 seconds, I'd say. And in we go. Mm. I'd say that's my least favorite. It's a lot of PT and very little foam. Uh, there's just not enough aeration. Second favorite is the whisk. It's the least PT. Um, actually almost none, but the, the froth isn't as creamy and it doesn't stay as thick and beautifully as with the plunger. The plunger is a little bit of effort, but uh, the cream in, in the milk, it really comes through, it's delicious. And now to drink a fuckload of coffee.